The Ace Camera Club started in 2014. At the time it was a film only camera club and uh, we were asked if uh, were other members could join but they were only interested in digital so we actually um, opened it up to all forms of um, uh, photography and it's grown from there. decided to go to Ayers Park and take pictures and there was a tent there and um, that's how I found the club. I have noticed that very few people in the community are educated with certain types of disabilities but are uneducated in other disabilities and most people think if they've met one person that hat fits all when in actuality there's just different spectrums of disability that can be a bit of a stigma in this town. Sometimes we both get a bit tongue-tied and it's a bit hard to talk, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we both do that. So when we're out and about and we're finding it difficult to talk, are people patient? How do they treat you? They're nasty. They're nasty? Are they just, they have no patience? No patience. Yeah. And the more someone's getting grumpy, the harder it is, isn't it? Because then you feel a little bit awkward. Yeah. It's, there's such a benefit in, for everybody in setting up clubs where we're all inclusive and everybody's valued and it's really important for us to get out there and help others and share the knowledge that we've got and um, welcome them into the club and uh, join in and enjoy the whole thing. It's been really good. The clumping of groups, I cannot stand that. Just because we're all disabled doesn't mean we all have the same disabilities. We need different things. None of us fit into the same jigsaw puzzle. We're all different pieces and we make our own puzzles up, don't we, as we yeah. go along. And if people were kind and if they weren't judgmental, that would make a big difference, wouldn't yeah. it? Because do you feel that people look at you and they make their mind up what you're like before they even get to know you? Mm. Yeah, that's not fair, is it? Because they're missing out on a pretty cool person, aren't they? Because we're a rural town, it's hard to either A, get funding or B, get noticed. And of course, we don't have everything big cities have. We don't always have all the resources for people with disabilities. It's education, small town, small education. It needs to do a little bit better, but it's getting more, how would say, equality for people living with disabilities here. I think we need to find people who are patient. Yeah, yeah big patient. time, that's a big deal. Um, and people who just accept both of us just the way that we are, isn't it? And, yeah. Just an average person that uh, looks at uh, people with disabilities and you sort of don't talk to them too much and you sort of, uh, you may even avoid them, you know. But since we've been mixing together and everything, we've found that we're all, we value them, you know, highly and we talk to them and it's been really welcoming and we've had sort of, it have a ball. To me, this is just so nice to be involved in this. I don't have any problems getting to come to come to the club on a Thursday. We could come in here the whole Wednesday. You'd love to come every day. Come in every day. There's all sorts of interests in the club, um, specifically for uh, certain um, styles of photography and subjects and that sort of thing. The idea is try to make it um, friendly and we try to share as much information as we can through the workshops and uh, other activities like that. The differences that we've noticed when um, we first started with the people living with disabilities project was that some of the uh, photography was pretty ordinary and they didn't really understand the cameras and that sort of thing and they had a little bit of a struggle at the beginning but um, as it's been going along it's been absolutely amazing the uh, level that's risen out of the the um, skills that they've actually picked up and learnt and they're putting it into practice and it's just so good to see people coming up and you know asking people to smile when they're taking their photographs and uh, to actually see that they're composing and thinking about the photo before they actually take it. I've learnt how to um, focus on my camera work and like what buttons which and <laughs> that kind of stuff and um, patience is a big thing that I've learnt. I've connected with old carers I've known, I've made a couple of friends and I've made friends with the teachers. Why do you like coming to the photography club? To take a live photo and the ship come in and the zoo farm. You know, he seems to get lost in taking his photos, he just sort of gets into that, that zone. 
Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's been some amazing artwork that's come through. And we had two exhibitions in the Vancouver Art Centre here, and people are just amazed at the quality of the work. If there's anyone in the community that feels isolated, I think they really, you know, are welcome to come along to a group like ours. And there's many other groups in Albany that are doing the same sort of thing. And just mix in and try it out, see if you like it, and join in because um, you'd be surprised at how welcoming these groups are and what a great job they're doing. Yeah, the whole thing helps them feel at, at home in the community and they're valued and um, they are contributing and a lot of these people now are doing some great work and it's helping other people see that, um, gee, I can do that too.